Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see what is batching and what are the different types of batching we have. So to begin with, so the operation of measuring the materials for the production of a concrete has per the specified proportion is called as a batching. Since we cannot mix huge amount of ingredients at once, we have to do the batching. What do you mean by this? Let us say I want to construct a slab here. Okay. So this is a slab what I want to do the concreting. And in this slab, I require, let us say, 50 cubic meter of the concrete, 50 cubic meter. Cubic meter is a unit for concreting. So I'm doing 50 cubic meter of the concrete is required. So at once I cannot prepare a 50 cubic meter concrete in the batching plant, right? It's not possible because the plant what we have, I mean, the batching plant, what we have, the capacity of the mixer and all the very less capacity. I will try to see what are the different types of mixer that is available. And if you see that usually it can produce only one cubic meter of the concrete once, or let us say max two cubic meter of the concrete at once, right? So then what happens? We require 50. That means if, if the capacity of my uh, batching plant or if the capacity of my mixer is only two cubic meter, that means 25 times I need to do the concreting. I mean, you have to do the batching so that you're going to get 50 M cube of the concrete, right? So in order to do that, we have to do a process called as batching. That is why it is written here. The operation of measuring the materials for the production of a concrete has per the specified proportion is called as batching. Since we cannot mix huge amount of ingredients at once, right? For 50 M cube, we cannot completely mix at once. Your cap, uh, the, cap, the capacity of the mixer is not there. So that is why we have to do the small, small batching. And then we do the concreting work. For good quality concrete, a proper and accurate of all the ingredients should be used. This is what we mean by batching. Yeah. So next is that there are two methods of batching of material. The first one is a volume batching and the second one is a way batching. Now, by the word itself, it's understood when I say volume batching, the measurement will be done in terms of volume. And when I say way, way batching, the measurement will be done in terms of weight. And always remember, weight batching is always better in comparison to the volume batching. But as of now, we'll try to see what is volume batching and then we'll come to way batching. Yeah. So coming to the way volume batching, this method is generally adopted for the small works. If you have seen the local construction and all, they will usually go with the volume batching, right? So you might have seen those people use certain method so that the batching is done. We'll try to see that. The first point is that this method is usually adopted for the small work. Let us say you're constructing a small G plus one building, G plus two or G plus three. In that case, you can go with the volume batching. The second is that the gauge boxes are used for measuring the fine and the coarse aggregate. We'll try to see what is this gauge boxes. As of now, understand the gauge boxes are used for measuring the fine and the coarse aggregate. The volume of a gauge box is equal to the volume of one bag of cement. So this is very important for us. The volume of a gauge box is equal to the volume of one bag of cement. And the one bag of cement, what is available in the market, it is actually 50 kg. If you are purchasing a one bag of cement, then the weight of that is 50 kg of cement will be there. Next, the gauge boxes, what I'm speaking, we call them as firmas. We call them as firmas. So the firmas are either made up of timber or steel plate. It depends if you can even prepare that with the help of a timber, like with the help of the plywood and all. Otherwise, even with a steel plate, you can try to prepare it. So the problem with the volume batching is that the bulking of a sand is going to take place. So we'll try to see what is bulking of sand. But one thing we need to understand, whenever we go with the volume batching, the problem is about the bulking of sand. Bulking of sand is whenever we try to make use of the sand, the coarse aggregate, we want that to be in that dry condition. It should not absorb any water and all. But, do you, but actually what happens when we keep the sand outside, that there are chances of the sand absorbing the moisture. So if the sand absorbs some moisture, then what will happen will not take that effect into our calculation. So in the volume batching, usually we don't uh, consider the water which is inside the sand. So as a result of that, what will happen? There will be more amount of water in our concrete. And if there is a more amount of water in the concrete, we have already seen what all effects are going to happen. So that is why the one problem with the volume batching is about the bulking of sand. So the volume of a box that is a firma boxes or the gauge boxes what we have is made equal to the volume of one bag of cement. And usually the one bag of cement, the volume comes out to be 0.035 cubic meter, which is 35 liters. So how this is 0.035 cubic meter. See the one bag, what is available in the market is 50 kg, right? And if I divide that by the unit weight of the cement, the unit weight of cement is one, four, four, zero, right? 
similarly if the unit the unit weight of concrete is 2400 kg per cubic meter similarly the unit weight of the steel what we have reinforcement bar is 7850 kg we know what is unit weight right so in the same way the unit weight of uh, cement is 1440 if you do this calculation if i do that let me do it 50 divided by 1440 it comes out to be 0 0.0347 Okay, you can write it as 0 0.05, right? So you can write it as 0 0.035. That is how we are getting this 0 0.035. Yeah. And the last point is that how it is 35 liters. We know that uh, one cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters. We, let me delete everything. We know that one cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters. So I have 0 0.035 cubic meter. That means it comes out to be 35 liters. That is why I have written 35 liters here, right? So this is all about the volume batching. Now we'll try to see practical how it has been done. Yeah. Now you might have seen all these things at the side. So this is a firma or the gauge boxes, what I was speaking of, right? See, this is a box what we prepared. So the capacity is 35 liters. Why it is 35 liters, we already seen. And why it has to be 35 liters because one entire bag of cement, I can put it here at once. So it should have a capacity to take one entire bag of cement at once. And the capacity of one entire bag of cement comes out to be 0 0.045 cubic meter, which comes out to be 35 liters, right? Yeah. So, and these are the Firma boxes, what you can see. You can see the box here, you know? this is made up of steel and this is also made up of steel. So in this, we try to make a volume batching. So what do you mean by volume batching exactly? So right from the previous uh, lectures we understood, we'll be having a ratio of the concrete. Let us have a ratio of, I'll write it here. Yeah, let us have a ratio of one is to two is to four, that means one stands for cement, two stands for fine aggregate and four stands for coarse aggregate. If I want to prepare a mixture, something like this, what I'm supposed to do, since cement is one here, I'll take one full bag of cement and I'll fill the cement into this, right? So once I fill the cement into this, one complete bag is empty since one is written here. I'll keep it here. I'll keep that cement here. After that, two is written. That is two stands for fine aggregate. So what I'm going to do, I'll fill complete fine aggregate in this box and I'll pour it on the cement. So since it is written two, two times I need to fill. One already is done. The second time again, I'm going to fill it again. Two times I'll fill and I'm going to keep it here. The fine, fine aggregate, right? And I'll try to mix it. And next is what we have four. Four stands for coarse aggregate. So for the coarse aggregate in this box, I have to fill the coarse aggregate four times. Once I've fixed it, once I've filled it here, I'll pour it here. Second, again, I'll fill. Again, I'll pour it here. Third time again, I'm going to fill. I'm going to pour it here. Again, I'm going to pour. I'm again. I'm going to pour here, and I'm going to again. I'm going to fill it here, and I'm going to pour it here. So in this way, we have prepared the mix mix ratio of one is to two is to four. That means this is how we are doing the volumetric batching, right? Here, what has happened completely based on the volume of this um, Firma boxes, our entire batching is done. Hence, it is called as volume batching. So sometimes what people do instead of using this Firma boxes, they try to take a measurement with the help of this pan. So what they do is that they have certain measurements. So based on that, they try to prepare a mix something for cement. They are going to put four. Uh, what let me call this as I'll delete it. I'll call this this as pan. I'll call this as pan. So if I want if they want to prepare a mix of one is to two is to four, what they do no? Let us say one, two, three, four. Four times they are going to take this uh, cement for uh, cement, and for sand they are going to put eight such numbers of pan, and for uh, coarse aggregate twelve such number of pans they are going to put. Right. So in this way, each contractor has its own has his has his own way of doing this, and they have their certain instrument kept ready for that, and based on that they try to do. So that is why in volume batching is not. Um, taken i mean volume batching is not practiced for the bigger projects right because here one contractor may make use of the firma boxes the other contractor may make use of this pan here similarly i'll show one more here so what some people do is they try to make use of the bucket also you might have seen so this bucket has a capacity of taking one entire bag of cement so again based on that one time this entire bucket will be filled with the sand then second time, this entire bucket of the, this entire bucket will be filled with the sand two times since the ratio is one is to four, one is to two is to four. And for the coarse aggregate, he's going to fill this bucket four times. So in this way, they try to prepare. Now, if you try to observe, in the first case, you're making use of a Firma box. In the second case, you're making use of this pan. 
and in the third case you are making use of the bucket let us say there are three different contractor so the final ratio what to get one is to four one is to two is to four that may that may not be correct right because there might be change in the volume of the bucket what you have taken there might be change there might be difference when you try to pour the concrete i mean when you try to prepare the when you try to add the cement sometimes we may add little more sand right let us say in this little more sand is going to come in this little less sand is going to come right so there is lot of difference so that is why for a small construction you can go with a nominal mix i mean not nominal mix you can go with the volume batching right so this was all about the volume batching for small construction it is okay but for bigger construction always we try to go for the way batching and in the next lecture we'll try to see what is way batching and why it is important uh, for a bigger construction in comparison to the volumetric batching yeah now the last point is precautions to be taken for the volume batching the first precaution is that the boxes should not be heaped but level to the brim what do you mean by this see you should not fill the uh, materials to this level right so in this what you have to do is you have to try to remove this excess quantity and to this level only you have to fill it now imagine let us say imagine four times you have to add the coarse aggregate so two times you will try to add it completely okay till the, till this level you have added and the next two times what you are going to do you are going to fill the coarse aggregate something like this so in this case what has happened there is a change in the quantity of the coarse aggregate that is that you have taken right so this is one of the problem what we usually encounter during the volumetric batching you are not going to get exact quantity of the materials that you are supposed to take there might be slight variation here and there the second point is that bulk bulkage correction should be done if the moist natural sand is batched that means as i mentioned due to the bulking of a sand the sand will absorb the water and we have to do the proper test of the sand and all so that is a, this is another problem what we have in volumetric batching we should take care of the bulking of sand next is water quantity to the extent of the surface moisture present on the aggregate should be reduced that is sometimes what will happen this aggregates what you have they'll be having a certain water over there let us say you have stored it outside maybe during the rainy season or maybe due to the moisture okay what is present in the atmosphere that will uh, get absorbed on the surface of the aggregate so if you directly use that aggregate without uh, without the dry condition again what will happen there will be more water in your concrete so again that has to be taken care of during the volumetric batching next is the firma should be of good quality that is this boxes what you prepare they should be of a good quality and it can be either made up of steel plates of having 2.5 mm thickness and having a rigid pipe handles of educate length so these are the rigid pipe handles what you have so that you can try to carry them wherever you want yeah and the last yeah this is how it looks okay yeah these are those things yeah so i hope uh, this things are clear about the precautions that we need to take uh, for volumetric batching if it is a small construction you can go for volumetric batching there is no issue this doesn't make much difference and there won't be a you know significant uh, change in the strength of your concrete and all and it's okay for the small construction so in the next lecture we'll say what is volume batching and we'll try to understand so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you